Yo, what is up guys? I'm bringing you a brand new video and welcome to my ultimate 30,000 quest guide. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to get 30,000 quests in some of the fastest ways possible. And I think this guide's going to stand the test of times because I don't think there's ever going to be a faster way of getting 30k quests other than what's shown in this video. Because a lot of the quests are done in the very, very early regions, which have a ton of fast quests. A lot of the later regions I completely avoid because of how slow they are. So you're roughly going to be looking at around 240 hours in order to complete this guide. And it can be as little as 200 hours if you're already starting from around maybe 6,000 quests or so. But if you're starting from zero, you can expect this to take around 250 hours. Now, basically the rewards for reaching 30,000 quests, you get yourself a nice 30k quest title. You also get the permanent enchant chance of plus five. So plus five even at zero stacks is really quite nice if you are an avid enhancer. The other thing you get is six 100 stacks along the way, as well as the coveted 300 fail stack once you reach 30,000 quests. Now, as a side note, following this guide, you're also going to be able to get level 61 on any character that you want, and at least level 59 on every character, but there are some steps you can take to make sure all of your characters reach 61. And you're also going to get 7,000 family fame. Once again, um, that is by your decision alone. Like You can spend a little extra time and reach 7,000, but for me, I just went the fastest possible way of getting it. But I'll show you the crossroads of where you choose to spend some extra time or not, depending on how on what you care about. But 7,000 gives you an extra little 1.5% silver collected from the market. So that's something I'm definitely going to go after um, in the future, but not right now. So pretty much... This guide doesn't start until you reach 10,000 quests. I'm going to tell you how to reach 10,000 quests and tell you the steps you need to take before starting this guide, but a lot of it is really self-explanatory and easy to do because the first thing you do is you start running the main quest line from Balanos into Serendia into Calpheon, and you complete all of Calpheon. So you pretty much just start by taking any character. You go to the beginning of a journey, and you just start running through all the way to Calpheon. Once you've completed all of Calpheon, you will then be at level 52, and this is where that crossroads comes in, where you care about either hitting the 7,000 family fam or level 61 on some characters, or you don't care like me. And so what you do is, once you reach level 52 and you run through Calpheon on all 24 of your characters, you are going to need 24 slots, because there are some really, really bad quests that are super slow that you avoid by having all of the character slots and i say 24 because corsair is coming out here in like a couple weeks so 24 character slots you run through all of your characters through the calpheon main quest line level 52 now you make the decision you can either get power leveled by a friend or a guildie or something from level 52 to 56 and then call it good and start following this quest line and that will guarantee you to get level 61 on that particular character. So you would have to do that on all of your characters, get power level to 56 from 52 on all your characters in order to um, then proceed with the rest of the quest guide. Otherwise, you could do exactly like me and just say, hey, I'm just going to forget about that and start right away on doing the next step, which is where the guide starts coming in. So the first thing you need to do before you start following this guide um, you're going to take those characters that are done Calpheon, and you're going to come over here to these trees, or any trees really, and you're going to pop a whole bunch of life scaling buffs, and you're going to get to Apprentice 5 Gathering. You're then going to go and get some planks, process those into plywood, and hit Apprentice 4 Processing. You're going to need that for some of the quests along the way in Bounos, Serendi, and Calpheon. You're going to really wish you had them because there's several hundred quests that you'd miss out on by not having those levels. And it takes about like under 10 minutes to get Apprentice 5 Gathering and another under 10 minutes to hit Apprentice 5, uh, 4 in your processing. From there, you will then start the actual guide itself. So what you're going to need is a whole slew of items. All of these items are linked in the description. In fact, before you even start running your Kelfion main quest line on all your characters, I recommend putting in orders for some of these things because they do sell out and they will take a while to purchase. For example, wolf meat, fox meat, pork, uh, usable scantling, all the ox blood, all these different types of items in here. Some of them are tougher to buy than others. So I recommend putting in orders on all of these once again, linked in the description, check them out. All these items you're going to want and put them in their relevant storages so that you have them ready to go. 
And as you're doing that, you will then, you know, probably have them done by the time you reach um, the Calfion main quest on all your characters. And by then you'll be at or, like around 10,000 quests once you're done that. So this guide really doesn't start until 10,000 quests are completed. So once you're at 10k quests, once you're done that, once you got your levels, you got your items, all you do is you grab all your items right here. So you grab these for Balano side quests and you follow the video labeled Balano side quest in the description. And you follow along my buddy Mef, he's from Vertex, and he went through and did all these side quests in a particular order that really matters. So you follow along to the T exactly how he did all these quests, and you just put it on a second monitor, put that video on a second monitor, and run through it on your character with him by your side, and you pretty much path out the way of doing all of the different side quests in Balanos. And you have all those items on you because it's going to allow you to do a lot of hand-ins, a lot of turn-ins really fast, quick processing, stuff like that. And really, really cut down on the time it takes for you to do the quest line. So you do that on all 24 of your characters. So you just run through the Balanos quest on all 24 characters. The reason I recommend doing all 24 region by region is because it gets so much more efficient as you've done it the third, fourth, fifth time. You just start remembering and it's natural and then you just run through the rest of your characters super easily. Once you're done Balanos side quests, you then do the exact same thing. You go back to this link in the description, you find the Serendia side quests items that you need, you take all of these items and you slam them into your inventory, then you click on the Serendia side quest video in the description, and you run through Mef's guide on all of the Serendia side quests. Now, something to mention, not all characters are going to have all the same quests along the way. It is okay if you're missing a couple quests, or if you're there, if there's a couple extra quests, you're going to want to pick those up. The way that you can know whether a quest is worth doing or not is by looking at the icons. So any icon that looks like any of these, excluding this one right here. Any repeatable quest does not count, but any Black Spirit logo, any book, any little exclamation point, any of those... Any, you know, little gathering hoe, anything like that, those all count towards the 30,000 quests. It's only the repeatables. In fact, you can tell by a glance whether or not a quest is eligible just based on looking at the quest border over the NPC's head. So right here, there is four yellow corners. This is a repeatable quest. I would bet a million bucks that I talk to this NPC. You go to quest, it is a repeatable quest. Same thing with this NPC over here. Same thing with that one over there. You can tell whether an NPC is offering you a repeatable quest or whether it is offering you uh, an actual permanent quest that's going to matter. The permanent quests that matter have complete borders. They are completely yellow all the way around. Or there, if it's a life scaling quest, it's completely green all the way around. So watch out for that along the way because certain other quests that you do along the way might not have been showcased in the video. But there's only going to be a few of those. So even if you don't do those, so what? It doesn't really matter. Um, after that, after you've ran Balanos side and you've ran Serendia side, you then move on to Upper Calpheon. Once again, you look at this link. You go to Calpheon 1. You grab all the different items in your inventory. You make sure you have those. Then you follow the guide of where I ran through Calpheon main quest line and show you exactly the route to do it. You then do the exact same process for Lower Calpheon. You do the exact same process for Star's End all the way down to Gamma Sylvia. And then finally, you go into Media and you do the same thing. And all of those different six parts of those videos are all linked in the description. All the items you need for those are once again in that link. And once you've done all of that, you will be you will have completed around 27,600 quests, almost 2,700 quests. And I'm assuming you probably started with some quests too, so you're probably going to be done at that point. If in the event that you're not done, you can go into Kama Sylvia main quest line. Now, I would avoid this as much as you can um, if you're looking for pure efficiency. It's pretty slow. Like, it's 82 quests an hour. It's the lowest any of this guide is offering. In fact, the weighted average number of quests per hours of this entire guide is 142 quests an hour. So it's a pretty big drop off by doing comma main. But the one thing that you do get out of comma main is you get around 200 mil for completing it because you get some uh, random items and some, you know, some force furies along the way that you can then turn into corrupted crystals and sell and stuff like that. So it's not all bad, but it's pretty bad. 
Um, I had to do some Akama main because I made the decision to leave two of my characters at level 49. So these two characters are level 49, and that means that I am ineligible of doing Media. I'm ineligible of any of Kama, including the Star's End side quests and Kama side quests, and I'm also ineligible for a lot of quests in Kalfion itself. So I recommend getting all your characters up to as high as you possibly can, because if you don't, then you're going to have to go into Kama Sylvia, which is a little bit of an issue. So that's pretty much it. There's really nothing else to mention um, other than, you know, you could play back these videos the first couple times at like 0.5 speed so you can follow along because I know at least in mine, I'm going really, really fast. And so playing it at half speed might be helpful to follow alongside on a second monitor. But once you've done it two, three times, you should be pretty much committed it to memory. And that's really it. You should You should be ready to go and hit 30k at that point. So just a quick recap, right? You run through all the way to Kelfion main. You get to level 56 on select characters that you care about. You get to Apprentice 4 in Processing and Apprentice 5 in Gathering. You then look at all the videos linked in the description and get the, re the, the relevant items into your inventory. Complete Balano side quest, Serendia side quest, Kelfion upper, Kelfion lower, Star Zen side quest, Kama side quests, media main and side at the same time boom you're done 30k title 300 fail stack and good luck on your enhancements guys if there's any other questions you guys have or anything that's unclear make sure to drop it into the comments other than that thank you guys all for watching please make sure that you guys subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys on the next one peace